Hello again now YouTube. Uh, I figured it was time for another update video for you guys. Um, nothing new with the shed, um, but the solar garage does have uh, a couple of updates. Uh, so I just figured I'd show you. Um, first thing you're going to notice is uh, the old switch that was here has been changed. We've now got a heavy duty uh, 12 volt switch, which is good for up to 100 amps. Um, anytime we're now working on the system, we're taking that out just for safety. Um, now at the moment there is only about, well, about five and a bit watts coming in, but that's because it is a uh, it is a pretty nasty day at the moment. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and take up the ladder and I'll show you the main thing that's changed. Uh, once again, a bit of a challenge doing this whilst holding the camera, but fun nonetheless. All right. Now, uh, just a little observation for you. Uh, we found recently it was getting quite windy. Um, so the first addition is simply just some sandbags, uh, which we're now using to weigh down the panels. Um, the original solar shared panel here, we just used some old uh, barbell weights. Anyways. The new addition, as you've probably kind of seen in my little walk by there. First, we had these two panels. Now, we have another two. Meaning we now have a total of 320 watts dedicated to the grid. Um, and we have another 100 watts, which is going into the shed. And when there's excess power from the shed, that's that one back there. Uh, that also feeds into the house. So, between 320 and 420 maximum. Now, to do to link these up, we've stuck with the same single cables coming up here. Um, I have checked, and I am getting about a 5% voltage loss um, using just this cable, just these cables. Um, eventually, we do intend to ru do a second run um, to reduce the voltage loss or I may convert it into a 24 volt system. Uh, this is still 12 volt system as far as the grid tie is concerned. Also, for those of you wondering how you link four panels quite easily, uh, instead of getting the uh, standard joiners, like these ones here that you can see, I found these to be quite unreliable, especially the cheaper ones. So what I have done, is I have gotten two sets of junction boxes. Now, inside these junction boxes is just a big block of metal with some screws on it. So this one here has all four positives from the four panels going in, into a big metal block, and out the one wire straight down to the garage. And the same is continued on the negative side. We have four negative cables from four panels, big metal block inside, cable coming out. Now this box, these boxes have been bought because I can easily add many many more panels to these boxes. Eventually we will have to add more than just one cable going into the garage from you know four or more panels, um, but we'll do that when it comes to it, or like I said, switch to 24 volt. Um, now I have noticed one issue, the panel, sorry, the grid tie that we're using is rated up to 350 watts. Now, what I have found uh, after testing is that even with a perfect power supply, that peaks at about 200. So even though we have 320 watts worth of panel here, um, you know, even with the 5% loss on the cables, um, the inverter is still peaking out at only 200. Um, so the next thing we're going to be buying is another grid tie, uh, just to share the load a bit. Um, beyond that, there is one little concern I have, and I'm going to be talking to the seller. Firstly, if you look at these two panels, you can see a difference between them. This one has large kind of squares in the middle. This one's a bit smaller. Nothing major, maybe looks like it's less quality. But then, Look at the background color. One is white, one is kind of browny, kind of yellow kind of color. 
Now, the troubling factor is that colour is only on this one panel. So this one here is another one. Both came in the same box. This one's still nice and white. This one's turned a weird colour. Now, I suspect either moisture has gotten into this panel or, for whatever reason, the backing in this particular one is reacting to sunlight. I'm not sure. I've never seen this particular effect before myself. Um, I mean, if anyone can offer some suggestions as to what might be causing that, I'd be very grateful. Um, but I will be contacting the seller about this as these these newer panels have only been up here about two weeks. Um, now, in terms of cost, these panels did cost a little bit less than those ones did. Um, I can't remember the exact figure off the top of my head right now, but those exact ones have gone up in price by about £30, uh, whereas these ones were the same price that those used to be. Um, but you can see they are slightly less quality, at least they look to be slightly less quality, um, especially given the fact that this one's already changing a funny shade of colour. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, that one there, that's been there since the very beginning, and that's still perfect. Um, and if anyone's wondering, that little panel there, that's just uh, being used to charge that festival system I said about, um, which now just sits in the garage, well, ready for next summer, because it's October here, and it's a bit crap. <laughs> um, in fairness, though, we did still get 50 watts off this earlier on, even with the clouds. Anyways, that's a bit of an update video. Um, feel free to leave your comments, and like I said, if anybody could offer some suggestions as to what that panel is doing, changing that weird colour, uh, that'd be much appreciated. But I will be, uh, I will be bringing it up with the seller. Maybe get a free panel out of it. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching my videos. Enjoy. Bye bye.